Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to this session of A Maker Studio, where we are gonna be teaching you how to craft a beautiful life. We call Fridays kind of a crafting, how to have a beautiful life. Yeah. That while we're gonna be using some Maker Studio products, look at this. We're gonna be teaching you some skills too. Yeah, you're, I like that, Michelle. We are gonna be learning some, some skills. Mm -hmm. So, hey Kathy, hey Shelly, hey guys. Um, my name is Amy, this is Michelle, and we're gonna be showing you how to make these adorable, look at this. I love them. Salt dough gift tags. Are these the best? So great. Y'all know how I feel about so having great. craft paper and doing your decorating and your even going to Dollar Tree and getting brown craft bags, which is what I'm gonna be doing in the morning. Um, and they have so, craft paper too. A lot of times they'll have just solid brown craft wrapping paper. It's awesome. Hey Jennifer. Hey Jill. Hey Terry. Hey guys. Um, I and but I hear I do love and this is why I love this image. Love it. I love the fact one the salt dough um, tags like this, but using like vintage velvet ribbon that's kind oh, of thin. So yummy. And. Um, these make the, great ornaments. The greenery on the plant. The, it's so pretty. Yes. Know, Go outside and cut a tree. I've got to decorate a table tonight outdoors, and I'm going to be snipping, snipping some trees. Snipping my Christmas trees. It's all about that's, pruning. That's <laughs> my, um, that and my little fairy twinkle lights and candles on the table outside. So, um, hey, Deborah. So, guys, you know the drill. Most of you, if, you, if this is your first time watching us, Hey, Hi. welcome. We're just two crazy chicks that do Facebook lives. And we just like to craft together. And we get really charged by y'all. We, we love that this makes a difference in your life too and that you can learn these skills. Absolutely. And craft a beautiful life. So we are going to show you how to use, get this look. Damn. My asthma, sorry. Using our stamps from a maker studio. Hey, from Houston, LaDonna. And our... Gel Art Ink. Gel Art Inks. So, let's get started. Let's tell them. Now, tag three friends and share this video. Yes, please. And you help us. You know us. you want to share the fun with them. And somebody be like, oh, I'm so glad. I've been wondering how to do this. <laughs> you can tell them, hey, meet our crazy friends, Amy and Michelle. <laughs> Okay, you're all our friends. And these are something great. Maybe this is something that you did years and years ago when your kids were in school, little. I haven't done this with my kids, and I we're going to. Oh, you totally this should. Weekend. I made them by myself yesterday because, well, they wouldn't get school done. But, but these, today it's over. They're <laughs> classic, elegant, really chic, and they add such a detail in giving somebody a package like Absolutely. this. Absolutely. All right, so let's turn this down. And can. I'm going to teach you a super, 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 super simple, super simple super recipe, simple recipe. So I have two cups of flour um, and one cup of salt. That is some seriously granulated salt. So this is all purpose flour that we all got at flour. the, let's show them the package at the Dollar Tree. All of this was at the Dollar Tree. Guys. And this would be enough y'all for two batches. This is two pounds. So two cups is 16 ounces. This is 32 ounces. So you can make two batches with one. And um, then I, I got the salt at the Dollar Tree too. So there you go. And then I have So a, two cups of flour. Two cups of flour and one cup of salt. Okay. Then I have one cup of water. And what I'm gonna add so that we can keep the white color is half a cup of our Rescue Restore paint. Can I show them the, the can? Absolutely. This is actually um, Amy Howard at Home Bauhaus Buff. It is. And so um, it's kind of a, a white creamy color. It is open. So I that way you can, you can kind of see. So you want to be able to use a um, no VOC chalk based paint. Absolutely. It's best to, to not use acrylic paint. You need a, a... Acrylic won't blend the same. No. So you want to be able to have um, a chalk-based paint. Oop, I'm dripping. That paper towel will sock that up. I am just mixing. So I, I got a little container with the lid so that I could shake or swirl. Because um, I want that 
water to mix with the paint. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I am going to, I'm actually gonna mix with my hands. Um, you guys should know enough by now that I like messy projects. So um, I'm going to pour over the dry mixture and just blend with my hands. That's why I'm gloved up because I'm gonna need it. Like, you know, you need dough. So this is a salt dough and I'm gonna need it. So guys, if you're popping on, we're showing you how to make these adorable looking, very vintage, but very much on trend salt dough tags. These great make great ornaments too. And you're gonna be using them in combination with our stamps. These yes. stamps and salt dough come to a whole new level. It's gorgeous. It really is. And the, the fun thing is, so I experimented at home um, and I used color. So I actually put some color. I did a colored paint in there. Yeah. And so you can change the color of your salt dough by using a different color um, one-step paint from Amy Howard. But I love white. I love white. I think it's pretty and classic just to have the white salt dough and then come in and add your color, your stamp, and then do a vintage ribbon. Yes. It's a really pretty color, like or dark like twine. green or twine. I think it's just this with craft paper, as you see. Sorry, just to kind of be able to show you this image Absolutely. again. Look at this. Doing that with the craft paper and a really pretty velvet vintage ribbon, I think it's amazing. When but it's, also, these are some that we did that actually had the twine. They're simple. And we talked about going back to simple. How so many of us want to go back to simple this I Christmas. And I love it. But so guys, as you are popping on, please be sure and um, share this video with your friends and say, this is the cutest idea for tags. Let's do these. And then your name will go into a drawing that we're going to be giving away um, one of the stamps. So your, your name is going to go into a drawing. We're going to be sending the winner one of these gorgeous stamps. Okay. All right, so just, you're kneading that. I am, and I, I, you guys will see, I still have some liquid solution here. I've not used all of it. Um, I knead it until it's doughy, till it's dough-like, like Play-Doh. Um, and you may not need all of the liquid. So I just pour in until I get where I want. But do you see how it's not coming off on my gloves anymore? Okay, now I just had a thought. Yeah. We um, we have some gals that are coming here tomorrow to make Christmas gifts. <gasps> Will this be, if we put this in an airtight container, could they make ornaments with this tomorrow? Absolutely. Okay. I made dough yesterday. Okay, and that's what and we're gonna be working I with have today. It. Mm -hmm. So absolutely, you can make it beforehand. I put it in a Ziploc and then also put it in an airtight container. But I mean, I so could put way, the lid on this right now and it would stay for a few days. All right, so now we've got a piece of wax paper. Absolutely. Which everybody is cooking right now. And I'm gonna set that here like this. Yes. And then we're gonna put another piece of wax paper on top of it. And you're gonna roll this baby out. Let me take my gloves off. And still have clean hands. That's why we use gloves, friends. Hey See? guys. Hey Joyce. <laughs> clean hands. Um, yes, no, look are, look, are these the cutest? Like, what a great thing. I mean, I am all about taking just very inexpensive craft paper and some vintage um, thin velvet ribbon. The velvet ribbon, especially like in a dark green or a dark red, is really, really pretty with craft paper. And this, these are some photographs of what we did with our project to be able to show you how fab it is. And just grab some greenery off your tree and see how we even used the stamps with the ink to stamp the craft paper. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so let's turn this around so that way, uh, Donna never thought about using gloves. I love to knead with my hands, but then I wanna move into my next process, and so that's why I used gloves. I poured that, Amy. Can I get some more Absolutely. wax paper? I made a boo-boo, my friends. So I just took part of what we had 
and um, I flattened it out a bit because I tried doing it through the wax paper and I broke it. Um, I did not buy expensive wax paper. I got it at the Dollar Tree too. Um, parchment would also work and I love to work with, with parchment paper as well. So you wanna work your dough till it's about a um, quarter of an inch thick, no thinner than that. Um, you'll have a really hard time getting it to stay together if you do it much thinner. So anywhere from a half inch to a quarter inch. We've actually got a recipe card on this that we'll be sharing we do. later. And so, um, We'll actually be sending out an email that will have all the step outs of this that we photographed so for you to be exciting. able to get this because this is this is a great family project and we're in quarantine guys and when you, more than ever we've got to be really safe well the kids kept asking me yesterday are you making cookies are you making cookies do <laughs> no, we get to eat them no. are you making cookies i was like no but it's like cookies so they're gonna have a lot of fun doing this this weekend. So guys, as you're hopping on here, um, my name is Amy and this is Michelle and we're with the Maker Studio. And we're showing you how to make salt glaze ornaments and tags that are great on your craft paper wrapped packages. If you share this video and tag three friends, guess what? Your name's gonna go in for a drawing that you might, you might win one of these stamps. All right, friends. That looks great. It does, it did really well. So you can take a cookie cutter. We are using a cup, which is what I used at home as well to make my circular shape. But you can also use cookie cutters and make them into shapes if you want to. And we're just gonna cut through that dough and work our ornaments. We're gonna get four out of this roll, Amy. We need Christmas music on. I know. Jingle bells, jingle bells, <laughs> jingle all the way. Okay, now this is the fun part. The peeling. Peeling. Yeah, because it will stick a little bit to the wax paper as well. Just why you don't want to do it on your countertop. Give yourself a little barrier. Well, and two, you can kind of pat them back out. Absolutely. So I like to lift my paper up just a wee bit and then I can get up under it. Oh, and we could have used flour. You can always lay a little extra flour down. And um, I should have done that. I could have done that when I patted it out. Yeah, because this is kind of sticking. I'll let you see. That was so pretty. And you, I think it would be really smart for you to have different sizes. These are kind of yes. big. So to be able to have them even smaller, to be able to put on your gift. If, if I've got a larger gift, but I could also make this into a Christmas ornament. I'm sorry, Amy. I should have done this better. Sorry, friends. Tell you what, grab, um, can you get that one off? I think I can, this one. And we'll put some flour on our plexiglass. Okay, set this aside. I can reshape it. Do you want to put just a little bit of flour yep. down? Do you want to put these here? A little flour on them. For our good ones. Okay. So now we're going to take our stamps. Do you have a preference? I love this one. <laughs> which is right here in the I Love You family one. Okay, bear with us guys. So we, as you can tell, we've kind of been using these. So it's got a top and a bottom. So you just wanna separate the mylar that it's on. And I like keeping it on the mylar. So when I cut them up- I do too. I'll always keep them on there. And then that it's way I've got all these individual stamps. to hold on to too. Yeah. So we're gonna cut these little guys out here. And here's the other fun thing. You can use these on when you're baking. Mm. A lot of people don't realize 
that you can use this on sugar cookies. Absolutely. You can use all these stamps and things to be able to make indentations on your sugar cookies, on your cakes, on yes. your icing. You can put, um, use a, you can use a foam dome and do food coloring and come on top of it and then do it on top of your cakes or cookies. Yay, so pretty. But we are making salt dough ornaments and gift tags. Gift tags, yep. So that way we just cut it out to where we've got different ones. I'll go on and cut this one so they're separate. So guys, as you pop, it, as you pop on and see us, be sure and share this video. We say sharing is caring. Mm -hmm. And it um, allows us to be able to get the word out about a maker studio, but also bless you by having a drawing to where we're going to give away um, one of these stamp sets that we're Absolutely. working with today. All right, so I'm going to come back and I can just lay this in like okay. this. I can place it. I can have a couple of them if I want to. I'm going to do that kind of at an angle and then just press it in to where it will, um, as you see on this part, let me just kind of show you, see the thickness of it? You'll kind of pat that down to where it will go into the dough and then just gradually kind of hold on to it and pull it up. You don't want it to just sit there for too long. Look at that. Can you tell, can you see it? It's so pretty. Look at that. Can you see? So, now I'm gonna come back and I wanna be able to do kind of one in the opposite direction like this. So I'm just gonna lay it down again, press into the dough. You can't mess this up. Now I'm gonna sp spread that out just a little bit. Do what, Michelle? Did you wanna brush it on? I tell you to get onto the all right, so let's take another one. I'm gonna take this one and do on the other one that I've got. So I do like them to where they all look a little bit different. I do too. I like the option. Oh, baby. Somebody. Y'all, you're missing Theo. Oh, hold on. <laughs> He's wearing the cone of shame and crawling behind his mom. So, we have our, our office dog is the Poor most baby. precious Great Pyrenees. <laughs> and he has been licking Come this here, place baby. on his leg Come for here, a long time. And sad? he just, Come here. I don't know if, that, if you can see, I don't know. Can you say hi can to you, the people? Can y'all see? Look what Thank happened. You. Say hi everybody. He just got, the, they just put the cone of hi, shame. Everybody. We were so worried about that. He's like, I can't get it off. They just gave him the cone of shame. This is not good. It's oh, like. Oh, he's so confused. <laughs> but you know, we were saying, we had, we were, we were having lunch. Oh, that breaks my heart. It's going to break he's my heart. He's putting his head on the ground trying to get it off, y'all. Oh. Poor Nuggets. Any good words? <laughs> Donna, any, any good words from, <laughs> from dog moms out there? We love that's him so. like. What do, what am I going to do that's going to make this easier for him? Hi, this is going to break my heart. No, you cannot eat the Play-Doh. <laughs> now I hurt his feelings again, y'all. I okay. said no Play-Doh. All right, so if you're popping on here, we've got to, we've got to focus. We've got to focus <laughs> on what it is that we're doing. <laughs> hey, Keisha. Hey, Pamela. So we're showing you how to make these adorable salt dough gift tags using our stamps and our gel inks here at a maker studio. Guys, these are absolutely adorable. They are. This is something, this isn't just for the holidays. No, not, oh my gosh, not at all. Um, it's really something that you can use on wedding gifts and customize them and do all the time. Absolutely. This could actually be a business for somebody. Uh, yeah. They could totally do this. All right, so I was just coming back with this stamp into this one. Now, as far as finishing these off, you don't have to bake these. You do not have to bake they them. They will air dry. It takes about three days for them to air dry and you wanna flip them once a day. I, I love the homemadeness of it. I do too. I just think it's fabulous. Do you want this one? I do. Do we wanna show them how they can stamp them with color? Um, yeah, I was actually gonna do one like that and yeah. then go in and paint it. You're gonna paint it? So they can do it beforehand too, though. Yeah, totally. All right, so do we have a plate? 
we have those squares over there to offload on. You're gonna do. You're gonna paint yours with green. I'm gonna show them how to stamp it, and then they can come back. I'm gonna do black. You gonna need this paper. Okay. Thank you, my friend. You're welcome. Caring is sharing, y'all. So I'm just gonna have this laying here like this, and I'm using the foam dome that we have at a maker studio, and. It's basically a pressing it down and lifting it back up. Yep. If you want to be able to do this. So you just set it down like this. It's a, it's a very soft pat. You can also take an artist brush and kind of roll it to the side. Yep. But then that way your ink is on it like that. It's so pretty. Do you want the foam dome? I do. But I wanted to do black. I'm gonna use the side of it. So that I don't mess up your green. Oh, I didn't grab black. I grabbed brown. I didn't even know. I don't care. That's good. I like it's okay. That. I'm like, I like that. Oh, so pretty. Is that so fun? If you're just now popping on, you can go back to the beginning of this, and we are going to be posting and emailing out the recipe card with the step outs and the recipe of this. That's so fun. So fun! They're so, it's like so gratifying, y'all. And then one thing you wanna do is while it's still wet, like yeah. before it's dried, make a hole. Take the back of your artist brush and just push it in and twist it around so that you get a hole that goes all the way through. Because when it does dry, you do not wanna break it trying to put a hole in it. So that way we you can come back Christmas with your ribbon. Ribbons. And just thread it through there. And tie a pretty bow. And tie a pretty bow. Or you can use the twine, twine like this. Absolutely. And be able to tie it around with your package. And it's so fun. They've got that twisted twine now with the red and the green or the red and the white or the red and the, like it's two colors twisted together. It's such a, just a little pop of color. Do we, we have, have some. We did have some right there in that tub. Did we use it? I don't know. I don't see it. Our twine done walked off, y'all. Well, we did those for Renew All Candles. Oh, true. We that red and white. Did. It's so cute. It so is cute. so cute. But Tiny pops of color. So, this is definitely something that you want to be able to go to the Dollar Tree, get your craft paper, and um, so... Uh, Mary Beth is asking for the recipe. Let's go over this one more time with everybody. Absolutely. And then we are going to be emailing this out and we'll be posting it on our Facebook page. Um, so it was two cups of flour. Two cups of flour, one, one cup of salt, one cup of water, and half a cup of, we used Bauhau Buff Rescue or One Step Paint from Amy Howard at Home. Um, we do encourage you to use a water-based, we like our chalk paint, um, acrylic, latex, those are water-based, but they're not going to blend the same. They're not going to do what you want it to do with the dough. You want that chalky, water-based. Dead, based. flat, matte yes. finish. That's one of the That's reasons. That's where you're going to get your color. And it bond, the bonding it of it and bond. holding it together mm -hmm. is really going to make it something, especially if you want to make these into ornaments, Absolutely. you can pack them away and bring them out year after year. Yes. And this is and definitely... This is definitely something, too, you can come back. Now, I'm going to push you over the edge a little bit. Do you know what I'm going to say? If you're going to say gilding. Well, I I'm am. doing that at home. <laughs> I was going to so, bring it up, too. <laughs> so you can come back, and you can take an artist brush, and you can just go in. We have size and gold leaf, but you want to be able to let this come to where it, it's completely dry. It's going Absolutely. to be better. Because when you come in and brush... The size on this, it's going to absorb into the salt dough, so it's going to be better. This is going to need to dry two or three days. Mm -hmm. As Michelle said, be sure and make a hole in the top so that way you can thread it with your ribbon to be able to put on put your this one. packages. You can see my hole. See my yes. finger? That's my hole. So and I just stuck the tip of our, like the wooden part of our artist brush. I just went boop. So I want to show you one more time. 
have you got, look at how cute that is, where Michelle did hers. I would totally come back. I would do copper leaf on this. Oh my gosh, yes. Just hit some of these little leaves, or uh -huh. maybe your little or berries. Or maybe you're just little berries. And just hit it with the size, a tiny little artist brush, and put some copper leaf on it. Yes. yes. That really takes your package to a whole new thing. Absolutely. Now, here's something that's really fun. We need to show everybody. We have some stamps that say to and from. I may not have them out here. We have stencils to do. Do we have stamp? I don't think we have a stamp that says it. I think. Let me see. Maybe we did it with the stencil. We did it with the stencil, but you could so stencil after this back dries, over these too. Yes, yes, yes. So after this dries for a couple of days, two or three days, then you could come back on the back and just and stencil, stencil it with, two. with the ink. Yep. And say to and from. Absolutely. That would be adorable. Yeah. Are y'all loving that? And you can write on these with any kind of marker. It'll take it because it's that dough. So you wouldn't have a problem writing someone's name or, you know, the year. You know, because we want to remember 2020. <laughs> Do we? I didn't know. I mean. I, I'm ready to pass on. Is anybody else about ready to pass on with 2020? Good and bad both. I have already bought my 2021 calendar. Girl, me too. And I'm like, I am ready. I am transferring I am ready for all of the things. I'm like, nope. So that way, when you're working with the stamps, like I said, you could, if you, now we're working I'm with the gel ink really because we're quick. making salt dough ornaments and tags. But if you want to be able to use these stamps from a maker studio with your cakes, sugar cookies, um, your baking, you can. They're food safe and you can wash these. Absolutely. And put them back. My suggestion would be after you wash the mylar, put it back with the sheet to where it's on top of it, the part that you cut off. So it's just protected. So that way, as you can see, can you see where I'm working? Yes. So I'm gonna lay this in right here. That way I've already got my color on it. And it dries down and it looks look. adorable. Oh, I took off so, much. oh, so sweet. Look at that. I, I took off too much. That's going to be for Jeff. So, look at this little heart. I Show just him the heart it was that a you cute did. Little so cute. Happy. So, so cute. Look at that. So, this cute little stamp. This comes it's on a heart. the I Love You Family stamp. And um, it's just the sweetest little heart. Love that. Love so it. we're just going to let these lay out on our wax paper mm -hmm. and air dry yep. for two to three days. And then that way we're ready to put them on our packages for our Christmas tree. And the reality is the gel art is going to dry pretty quickly. Like it actually dried for me pretty quickly yesterday because I, of course, was making these at home for the fun of it with my kids. Um, but it dries pretty quickly. So you don't have to feel bad about flipping it over to let the back side dry. So once a day, you're gonna to wanna to flip it so that you're getting even drying on both sides. So fun. It is so Thank fun. Thank you for cooking for us. You're welcome, before it Before you fun. came today. <laughs> your, your very um, effective trip to the Dollar Tree to get to snag all of the stuff to be able to make this. And then Absolutely. all you have to do is pop onto a Maker Studio and get the stamps. And um, just to answer some questions, People are like, why are the shipping options? Why are you only shipping FedEx? Because we decided to do um, FedEx two-day shipping so that way people would get their packages quicker. Yay. Because USPS is slow as molasses. Right now, they are. So that's why we thought our customers would probably be more interested in paying just a little bit extra and let's do them FedEx so that way you so can you get, get them. them in time for Christmas. Absolutely. To be able to use them and enjoy them. So, okay, so. Um, Rose asks, can, can you put, you put them, in, them the in the oven to dry? dry? You really no, shouldn't. You shouldn't? Because they will crack. Okay. I've done that before. Okay. It's really not um, like if you had a dehydrator, it might be okay. It might allow it to be it pull the moisture That'd be a out. Fun thing to try. Yeah, but I would. I don't want it to get mixed in with my dehydrator with my food. <laughs> so I would say um, that we. It's best to just go in and let these dry for two or three days, and then that way you're good to go. Awesome. But the cool thing about it is you can stamp them and have it all colored and everything and done. Yeah. Then they're just drying. And then they're just drying. And then you're going to put them on your package. It's gonna I be love it. So, so cute. I promise. Love, love it. that. All right, guys. 
that's it for us today. We hope you have a happy Friday. We had lunch today. We had our celebration lunch, and we prayed over all the packages. We did. We really Every did. Every last one of them. <laughs> and um, we pray that those packages get to you because that's our heart, to love our customers, to teach our customers, to inspire our customers, because our tribe is all about being creative and um, having a group of women and men. We have some men that do. are makers. We do. That enjoy making things. All the creatives. having and enjoying and creating, crafting a beautiful life. Have a great weekend, everybody. We love you. Bye. Share the video. Sh sharing is caring. <laughs>